Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second match in the uh, IAW tournament. This is Claudius, two in the pink, one in the stink, Vanderbilt. And I'm Dusty Trails. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We have, with the second matchup in the uh, Insane Asylum Wrestling, this is Tyler Riot coming out to the ring. And his opponent, Cowboy Casanova. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen, hailing from uh, down south, Cowboy Casanova. Both of these men should give each other one hell of a match. Both of them are about a little over six feet tall and weighing close to 300 pounds each. We have Cowboy Casanova standing at a near six foot eight versus Tyler Riot standing at six foot ten. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, two completely different superstars at that. What we have right now, we've got somebody who represents, obviously, probably punk music because he's rocking the mohawk, and his opponent, somebody who represents country music. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Riot with the mohawk and the hockey mask. He didn't have to stop right there just with the hockey mask. He didn't have to stop right there with the mohawk. He actually had to do both at the same time. A double whammy, a double threat, if you will. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. His mohawk stands a near, um, probably about two feet off of his head. Well, probably not that tall. You know what? I think it's about six foot tall because he's like eight feet in and of himself. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's glued onto his head. Rumors speculate he's actually half demon, and those are just spikes. Those aren't really mohawks. Those are spikes coming out of his head. And anytime anybody grabs them, they get cut and sliced open, and he likes to gore people with them. So I've been told. Well, this should be a really good matchup. Like I said, two behemoths, two giant men in the ring, the two tallest members of the Insane Asylum Wrestling. If we might have said it last time in the last match that it was some other company, we, we apologize for it. Not really. Go fuck yourselves. And it looks like these two, like I said, this should be a pretty good matchup. I mean, you got two really big guys going at it. We have pretty much guys that are very similar. It's a really good match. Sometimes, though, it's also good to have two completely polar opposites. You know, one big guy, one little guy. Kind of like David and Goliath. Rey Mysterio versus Andre the Giant. Max Mini versus the Great Kali. Hornswoggle versus Steven Ringmaker. Well, Steven Rainmaker doesn't really stand that big. No, but the fat, tubby, lovey, droopy, loopy likes to slap titties just like fucking Cowboy Casanova. He's just bitch slapping him left and right like, take this, you little bitch. Take this, you little bitch. And he's got him backed into a corner. Look at that. He's just slapping the fucking shit out of him. Look at that. Bam, right there, right to the chesticles, right to his fucking man tits. Yes, knife edge chops actually do not feel good indeed. Nature Boy Ric Flair, not necessarily inventing the knife edge chop, just innovating it. That's right, and the cowboy innovating his ass to the canvas. That's right, knife knock this big fucker out. I want to see the big dude win. You're going to have to be a little bit more specific. Both of these guys are really big. Full Nelson! One of my favorite moves, I like hitting people with Full Nelsons. I go into grocery stores, I get all hulked out, and I like to come up, and I throw people in Full Nelsons. Um, you mean to tell me that you do that in real life? Yes, I do. One time I was at an Aldi's, and this woman was taking forever because she was trying to get approved for a bag of Skittles, and she was holding up the goddamn line, so I ran up behind her, and I said, no, nah, and I snapped her freaking neck. Is that why you spent time in jail? Is that why you said you had the ankle bracelet? Well, as you know, Dusty Trails, he's got a bit of a, a rager problem. That's what happens to me best. I have a rager problem, too, when I get a raging heart on whenever I see, uh, whenever I go to a strip club. That's right, because you're a lonely, desperate man. Well, I'm married. Yeah, and you just admitted you go to strip clubs. Look at this, powerbomb to the corner, that's right, fuck off, Tyler, Tyler, quiet riot, with the hockey mask. He thinks he's Jason. Jason with a mohawk. And the hillbilly guy thinks he's a hillbilly. Well, he doesn't think he's a hillbilly. He's an actual hillbilly. Well, okay, I like to take that back. He's not really a hillbilly. He's a redneck. There's a difference. No, actually, he's a cowboy. No, he's a Casanova. That dresses in cowboy apparel. Or he's a cowboy that dresses in Casanova apparel. Shut your fucking hole, Claudia. Oh, look, he decked him right in the fucking mouth. But, to no avail, he's still... Look, look, he's decking the big man in the face. 
Hey, Jackson again. There you go. Finally, he's down for the count. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Rocky Balboa put Apollo Creed right on his anus. Anyway, so he's dragging him by his mohawk. He's going to have lacerations on his hands. I don't know why he's grabbing him by his big mohawk. And he's punching him in the hockey mask. Look, you're a fucking idiot. You can't hurt him like that. What the fuck? The hockey mask was actually meant to protect the face. I don't know why Jason likes to wear it, because he's not in hockey. That's right, and he wears a fucking jumpsuit sometimes, if you notice. But he's not a janitor. He's not a custodian. Oh, look, and he German suplexed him right onto the mohawk. And the mohawk, as, as you notice, doesn't flatten down. Here he goes. This finisher is called the uh, Rodeo Twist Billy Willie Mill Roundabout, whatever he calls it. Bam! Ball shot right to the balls. Ladies and gentlemen, both of these men are going at it. Like I said, you got one good guy, which is Cowboy Casanova. You got Tyler Riot, who is obviously, you know, the heel. Come on! I want to see you guys. I want to see fucking Cowboy Casanova fuck this man up. Rip the hockey mask off. Truthfully, I think it's Kevin Nash with a mohawk. Uh, rumors speculate that it's just, uh, he's a newcomer. He's nobody really new. Well, in the Wrestling Revolutions, or whatever it's called, Resolutions, Resurrection, whatever the hell you want to call it, Tyler Riot fucking does things and poop. And he hits him with a DDT. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I personally like this match right here, because these two men, you know, they're just, they're giving each other 110%, hitting each other with finishers. Unfortunately, Cowboy Casanova has only hit him with the finisher once, but still didn't put the big man down. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, so this uh, tournament goes on. Uh, after these two fight, uh, one of the winners here gets to go on to take, uh, I believe it was James Fate, into a hardcore match. That's right, because we guaranteed the audience somebody was going to get cut up and bloody. Oh, and there he goes, his fourth finisher again. I'll tell you this now, Dusty, or Claudius. I mean, you know, whenever he hits that move, it's a very devastating finisher. Obviously not. It didn't work because he hit him with the possum pin. The referee's taking his jolly time. That's right, because he's a slow piece of shit. From what I heard, he's been, had his ass beaten over the years, and he still hasn't quit on the company. The second match into this, and, um... We appreciate these guys being here. We appreciate them putting their bodies on the line. Bullshit. They should appreciate just being in the same, mentioned in the same breath as the Chaotic Pros. And you know what? The Chaotic Pros ought to be honored that they're in the presence of Dusty Trails. Yes. Every, yeah. Everybody should feel honored that a 26-year-old man who sits in his friend's basement and just recording videos all day, they should all appreciate the fact that they get to wrestle in his fictional company to... Uh, appreciate the fact that he doesn't get late enough. I wonder who you're taking a shot at right there, but whatever. Anyway, so, speaking of shots, he's sh shooting him right in his chest. Right in the right in the bearded biscuit, clam, vag, bag, puss, crack, beef, curtains, moose knuckles. And these guys are tangling up right now. And he's got him for an unarmed DDT. Unarmed suplex, you faggot. And he's picking him up by the mask. And he's going for the third one. You know what? Um, if, if I had to go out on a limb here, I would definitely say that Cowboy Casanova has the favor drawn into his favor because he's hit three of those. And I've, I'm not a professional wrestler. I've never been in a ring before except for when I had to call, you know, people out to the ring. But I could just imagine that these two men, you know, being hit with that finisher is devastating in and of itself. That's a badass Samoan drop. You know you got to be very strong if you can lift a man that's almost 300 pounds like that and just throw him like he was nothing. Neither of these men weighing over 300 pounds miraculously. They're just really big, tall people. Tyler Riot. You know, I used to own a shorts like that back in the day, except it was uh, American themed. It had the patriotic, you know, flag on it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is an Oklahoma stampede made famous by Dan the Beast Severn. Mr. Fahrenheit likes to hit that move a lot in his matches. Obviously, doing it, but in the company he's in right now, he can't really do it. You know, I notice we always mention a lot about the other wrestlers from the other companies. This is all strictly a company based on uh, Tate the Freak Humble stuff. 
Shut your fucking hole, Claudius. Like I said, this is all developed by the same guys. They all sit there all day. Look, my fucking finisher. And you know what? That's what I did to her, too. Going back to the super, to the, to the supermarket story. I grabbed her by a full Nelson and I slammed her through a table. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, um, the, the moral of the story is, learn to control your anger. Yes, or else you're going to be wearing a brain, ankle bracelet just like I am. And he goes for a bend. Damn, he didn't even get a one count, not even a zero of a second count. The referee didn't even slap his hand to the canvas. What is Tyler Wright got to hide under his mask? Is he just really ugly, or is he doing it for a gimmick thing? I think he's actually doing it for a gimmick. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I want to see what it looks like. People who wear masks are usually ashamed of who they are. Well, I, I wouldn't really say that. It's, it's more for uh, theatrics. It's to uh, boost up the... Oh, shit. You need to boost up your caffeine intake more like it. You're starting to get a little tired, Claudius. That's right. I didn't have much sleep today, so please leave me alone. He's throwing him in the corner. He's got him near the corner. Let me tell you something. The riot control is a devastating finisher done by Tyler Riot. He throws you into the corner, and he hits you with the nastiest Death Valley driver ever seen in the face of man. Or in this case, this man has no face because he's covered it up with a hockey mask. This is bullshit. He's got a hockey mask on, but he's not playing hockey. I think Stephen Remaker once said that in the commentary in one of his other matches. It doesn't matter. Fuck off. You know what? Seeing these two behemoths go at it, I'll tell you this now. I'm about six foot seven right now. And back in my day, I used to wrestle guys about this big. I was Hulk Hogan before Hulk Hogan was cool. I was Jesse the Body Ventura before he was cool. I was all of those guys. And he's going for a three count, obviously just hitting a two, and he's spazzing the fuck out. Must be a symptom of roid rage. Well, from what I hear, all these athletes do their talents naturally. Nothing was done through anabolic steroids. No, but I hear a lot of these guys smoke a lot of ganj, like Carson. But it's not a performance enhancer. It is if you're in a pie-eating contest. <laughs> <laughs> and he's fucking flexing right in the eye. I know a lot of people who like to do that, like Roddy Piper. He's flexing right in the eyeball. You know what? Come on. You know what I want to see? I haven't seen in a while. I want to see some... You reckon runners. I don't think you're going to be able to see it out of these two big guys. I don't know. I've seen a lot of fat asses do hurricane runners. Well, unfortunately, neither of these guys are fat. They appear to be... Uh, extremely muscular, fit, young men. <sighs> Maybe I need to go get you a pot of coffee or something, because I'm getting tired of hearing you fucking yawning. Well, I, I get pretty sick of you doing a lot of things. That's right! He's going for riot control! Ladies and gentlemen! Ladies and gentlemen! The match is over! There you go! <gasps> Bam! Right on his fucking skull! Penny one, two, three! Oh, damn it! Just when I think the match is over, I get a little too excited. You're going to have to calm down before you pass out. Fuck off! You know what? You think you're my doctor? Why don't you come check my blood pressure, dick face? And ladies and gentlemen, he's going for a knee right to the nugget. That's right, and he's dubbing the crimson mask. You got one asshole wearing a mask, and the other asshole wearing another mask. The crimson mask versus the hockey mask. More like the honky mask. <laughs> Fuck off, Claudius. I should be a stand-up comedian. What you need to be is a commentator. You know, I wasn't originally designed to be a commentator. I was originally designed to be a wrestler. That's why I was graced on this planet with six foot seven inches of body. And I was oh, a little over 300 pounds. And I was rippling muscle. That's right. Uh, tell everybody your little technique of how you got that big. Well, no, we're not going to say how I did that. Let, young, uh, listen. Aspiring wrestlers, don't do steroids. Just go to the gym every day, work out. If not, I know a good dealer. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Dusty Trails, obviously, back in the day, doing a lot of anabolics. No, shut your fucking hole. Look at this, look at this, look. Bam! That's like the fourth one. I think this match is over. I think we can just call it down the middle. Cowboy Casanova advances on. Wait a minute, what the fuck? That's right, the possum pen. One, two... Three, 
Well, looks like an upset victory here. Looks like Tyler Riot got the better of the match between him and Cowboy Casanova. Looks like he advances on to the next round to fight fucking what's his face? James Fate. I think the match favors uh, Tyler Riot because he's much bigger and much stronger. Well, that's what they say about a lot of the people in the NCWFA. They always think that the bigger guy is always going to win, but that's never the case. Ladies and gentlemen, this was an intense action. We'll see you for the next round. This is Claudius Vanderbilt, and I'm Dusty Trails, and we'll see you guys later.